It's been quite a bit of interest on the piggyback cylinders I did on the dumpster truck build I built. <clears throat> this would be an application where the stroke of a single cylinder <clears throat> won't accomplish what you need to do uh, in the space that a single the a space that you have to put a cylinder uh, to where a normal cylinder you only get the stroke out of the out of your um, casing to where when you do piggyback cylinders with rods opposing each other you're gonna get twice the stroke out of the space of essentially a single cylinder but you're getting twice the uh, the stroke the way I built mine it's been three or four years uh, to the best of my knowledge obviously they oppose each other and I think I lined up <clears throat> kind of the end of the casing with the end of the other cylinder and the same here I put two U-bolts <clears throat> on my setup I did one here and one here you know if your casings four inches use four inch u-bolts obviously um, that's just to kinda hold them together but what I did to keep them uh, when they're pushing or pulling was I put a, a solid round rod in the valley of those two um, casings from almost end to end and what I did was when I stopped my U-bolt somewhere in here I took a piece of steel kind of the way my pencil is going I came up like that over and then kind of 45 back and then came back and then I drilled my pinhole in that I think I used like 3 8 plate on mine and you want to make it come down far enough to where you can weld your solid rod that lays in that valley to where you can weld that plate on both sides of the rod and then you do this plate on the other side and then you'll put a pin through here and then you do the same plate as there here you go from here up over 45 back and and back and you weld on both sides you drill the hole or you can put a pin through here and here so all together you'll have two round rods solid from here to here one on each side of the cylinders and then these plates here should be symmetrical and you should have four of them one here one on the opposite side for that pin to go through and one here one on the opposite side for that pin to go through and then you want to weld on both sides of each plate to your rod now your rod size here will depend on your case size so since I'm in the house and it's late in the evening the only thing I really have to uh, explain that is, is once you order your cylinders you can just take a straight edge across there and just see what diameter stock will fit between your two casings and your straight edge your straight edge would be like uh, your U-bolt because if you put too big of round rod here your U-bolt uh, <clears throat> your, your two U-bolts aren't gonna fit so you gotta make sure whatever size round solid stock you're gonna use will fit in between your two casings and a straight edge if you want a little bit more strength you could probably go just a hair bigger and where your two U-bolts are you could just notch it out to where your 
U-bolts will have clearance. <clears throat> to my knowledge, from what I remember three or four years ago, um, that's how I built mine. Um, and again, the reason this setup is handy is because compact spaces where you need <clears throat> the uh, the stroke uh, more than what you can get from one cylinder, but you can't fit a longer cylinder in your space. So by this, you're getting twice the stroke out of one casing length. <clears throat>